So this is a bathroom at the current state. Jack's taken all the tiles off. The toilet and sink have come off and the bath is out. Basically it's an empty shell of a room, apart from the radiator. And this radiator, actually getting rid of this radiator because it just doesn't do anything and it's hideous and I feel like the room will feel bigger without it. And we don't need two radiators. We're gonna change this one as well for a nicer one. So yes, all go here. I think Jack needs to, or we need to get this off because we're gonna actually just paint this wall from here up. So I feel like this, his mum used to be a painter decorator and she said if you try and paint over this it'll be all lumpy. So we need to, um, yeah, sort that out. But yeah, so that's the progress that we've got at the moment. So Jack spent all of yesterday in here and it might not look like he's done much, but can you see these tiny bits of black here? The whole floor was covered in that and it was all uneven, so he's got rid of it all so that it's even, so that he can now lay the tiles on there. He was thinking of doing a self-leveling thing on top of that, but this is gonna work better for when it meets the wooden floor out here. Um, so yeah, that was yesterday's job, which I do not envy him. It was so dusty in here. So next little bathroom update. Jack has removed the radiator from here and this radiator. So we've got everything out now, handyman. Who can? The handyman can. And he's um, getting rid of all of this plaster. No, it's literally taking... What is it? I don't know. It's just like... Not it's plaster, paint. it's paint. Some yeah. kind of priming paint. I don't even think it's priming paint. Uh, it's paint. Well, it's getting rid of the paint just for the top because it's going to be tiled up to here, but then we're going to paint this. Or well, Jack's going to paint it. Well, explain why I'm getting rid of it. Huh? Explain why I'm doing it. Well, he's getting rid of that so that the paint goes on more smoothly and evenly. No, so it's, so it's not bumpy. So it's not bumpy, yeah. Because it was like this, and if it was bumpy, it would not go. I said so; it goes on smooth and evenly. Get out of it. Um, so yeah, he's working away like a worker bee, and then he's going to fill in all these holes and paint this within the next couple of days. So just want to give you guys a little update before Jack does any more today. Cause he's got quite far already. So he's been building this. These are the bits that are going to go here, but he's built this um, casing to go in um to cover the pipes um it's quite high because we got rid of one of the radiators so we had to just cover those pipes um and then gonna go all the way up here potentially up to there we're not really sure yet but yeah so it'll cover these and then this is cement board from tops tiles um and we just went and bought this yesterday it's called backer board i don't know what it's called anyway it's like cement board and jack's gonna this isn't a tile it's going to tile onto it so it'll all look built in and it's going to build something for the bath as well with the same thing i'm not sure if the bath's here for good or not but he's put it in because he wants to uh, measure because i think he's got to basically it's so annoying this wall because it's an old house it's not a square room so if you have the bath against the wall then you have gaps i mean we're going to have gaps here either way but if you put it against the wall then it's like not straight but if you put it straight then you lose some of the room and you get a big gap on that side so i think we're going to have it against a wall um and not straight in the room because can you see what i mean like um obviously it's not against the wall now but yeah so yes that's what the plan is today so i think he's putting the bath in today so i just thought i'd show you guys a little oh he's got water in the bath oh is that because he's sealing it against the wall I don't know what he's doing. Anyway, just sort of give you a little update. He had the bath in before, but he's put the taps in. So I didn't realise he actually had to um, make the holes for the taps. Um, but he's done it all himself, and he's put he's plumbed them in and everything, and checked it all, and it's all working. Look at that! He stuck it to the floor, um, and now he's just boxing, doing the boxing in for the bath, um, so that it looks like we want it to look almost like a hotel one and i am thinking that's quite a big gap actually but i guess it'll be quite nice to put shampoos and stuff in and i think it would just look better if it's all boxed in and looks kind of complete um so yeah so it's really coming on in here since the last time you guys saw it 
This is actually, child, you just can't see because it's got the grout on it. He just wanted to see how the grout would look. Um, so all the taps are on. Shower heads on. That's all. This is actually going to sit on here because it looks nicer. But we've got that so we can have it up for a shower. Um, and obviously that is full of water because he was setting the silicon. So that's why it's up at the moment. So we need to put the radiator. He needs to jacks. Right. <laughs> what else have we done? So it's tiled everywhere apart from the boxing in. Done all the boxing in. Most of the boxing in is tiled. So he's going to tile this, which will look lovely. Um, he's tiled the floor and he's grouted the floor too. And I think it looks great. I love this floor and I just think it looks so good. And then he just needs to do these bits, which are going to be so fiddly because this wall, like it's not a perfect degree 90 angle, perfect 90 degree angle. So that's just annoying like neither of them are so he's ha gonna have to make something to go there and then tile it but it's not gonna look the best but obviously there's not really much else we can do because the wall the room is not square um, and that's what happens when you have an old house so yes yeah, so this is boxing in and then once it's grouted everything all he's got to do and done this boxing in and so what's all the tiling and grouting and everything's done he's literally just got to put the radiator on and put the bathroom and sink in which will be so easy so just another little update um the bath is completely in all of the tiles are grouted and sealed the floor is in the boxing's all in jack's waiting to do this bit last just because he wanted to double check that all the pipes are okay because that's the last thing he's going to do as long as it's boxed in we can't get to it just putting the toilet in, and then he's also painted this. He's going to paint these, what? the tops of these. Oh, yeah. um, and we need to put the mirror and stuff up. And oh, look, doll, you missed a bit. What well, I can honestly, I can, I couldn't see in natural light, but on here you can see it really obviously. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> but isn't that where the cabinet's going anyway? No, no, the cabinet's going to go over the sink. Yeah, but won't that cover that? No. Well, it will. No. Well, I'll go over it, but it will cover it. It won't. Anyway, that's where, I haven't missed that, that's where the filler was. Oh, right. Um, so, yeah, next time, I think I'll show you it next time when it's done, because may as well, it's nearly done. So, this is the finished bathroom, and I say finished lightly, because <laughs> it pretty much is. So, you come in, it's quite a small bathroom, like, it's very small, we're limited to space. Um, so we chose the smaller toilet and the smaller sink. Like they think this might even be like an uh, ensuite sink. But we're just like, we don't need a huge sink. Um, so let me talk you through the tiles first. because That's what we were talking about before. So we went for the Metro tiles with white. And then we got these tile toppers to finish off because it just didn't look right. Uh, and actually it looked so nice. And we were informed that we'd put them upside down. But we like them upside down. I think it looks nicer. Um, and then I'm just going to sit here and show you. This is the sink. So we went for a really nice Bayswater sink. And these taps are probably the most expensive thing from the whole bathroom. Because I wanted some traditional with taps that still have black fixtures to uh, fit in with the black in the tiles. Uh, and the black that we have got in the shower that you'll see in a minute. Um, and I also didn't, I wanted a mixer tap. But I didn't like the look of the mixer taps um, that there were. So I found this one that's kind of like a mixer tap, but it all comes out in one, but it has separate hot and cold. And I just really liked the look of that, but they were um, quite expensive. Um, I don't recommend who we used Victoria Plumbing at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find them because it's a brand. I'm going to find them elsewhere and link for you guys because... Um, we just had the worst customer service from them. Um, but I love the sink so much. This is probably my favourite part of the whole bathroom. Then we have our little... We've got these white company soaps. So I just thought they went really nicely with like the metro tiles and stuff. There's not actually that much room on the back of the sink. Um, so yeah, but I like it. Um, and then we've just got this little wash basket which is from H&M. Uh, I wanted a round one but this one actually fits in perfect. It's like a tote style. And it fits in perfectly in that little gap there. Uh, and also covers up here the pipes. Um, so it's perfect. 
Uh, and then we've got a little bin, which is just from John Lewis. And then this is the toilet that matches. Um, but we've got a white handle. I mean, we could find a black handle, but that doesn't really bother me. Then we have got this toilet roll holder. I struggled so hard to find nice toilet roll holders that were like traditional looking. Um, and I didn't want to use, obviously, Victoria Plumbing, who we used before, who were rubbish. Um, and then I found these on Amazon. Amazon Basics, amazing. Toilet seat is also Amazon Basics. Um, just got these. Then we've got these cute little pots from the White Company. I probably could have found them cheaper, but I'm lazy. Um, I just thought they looked really cute. This this actually needs going over again because it's a bit sticky. Like there's too much paint on it, so it needs sanding down and going over. But just thought this was a cute little display. Then we have this blind, which is actually from John Lewis. Um, a little fan which we replaced um, and then this mirror with storage which is also from John Lewis and I discovered that John Lewis is actually super affordable because um, these mirrors were really expensive when I found them from John Lewis uh, and then we also got these light um, pulls from Amazon which match um, the taps for that kind of traditional style and then if you come round we have the bath um, and we uh, this room isn't square, our house is old, so everything's like higgledy-piggledy. Um, but we found um, that the best way to do it was to put the bath against the wall and then we've got, we've boxed it in um, to so that we didn't have like a panel. So Jack created some boxing in and then tiled it. So he's done all tiling himself, he's literally so talented. And as you can see on the floor, like it's, you can tell it's not a straight line because of where the tiles go but yeah it looks fine when it's in um we haven't got this finished because jack's going to change these pipes to silver uh, and then t p tile this in but we're just waiting and i couldn't wait any longer to show you guys um and it's pretty much finished that's like the smallest part it's just going to be tiled like this um then this is a bath with pain it actually looks really good and it's probably way more um handy like this but we did expect this to be more of a frame where it's vinyl so just beware um but i still like how it looks and i wouldn't want a normal like plain one um but that that was a bit disappointing um and then the taps again we went for kind of traditional style to match the toilet um, and these are really nice. I think they're actually a different brand to the sink taps, which are cheaper, uh, which is why um, the other ones are so expensive. But you can get cheaper ones as long as you don't want the fancy um, mixer tap that I <laughs> picked out. Um, but yeah, so we've just got like this and it looks really nice. And then we've got a shower um, head holder up there. Um, so when we have the shower, and then this radiator went for matte black. Um, we did actually have a radiator, if you remember, here, but Jack got rid of it and it's actually made it feel way bigger in here. Um, and then we have a wooden um, mat, which I keep sliding around on. I need to get a grip or something for that. Um, but it's actually so handy because it doesn't get manky, it's always there, um, and it just works perfectly. I don't know why we didn't have one before. And I just really wanted to add some wooden touches to the room because it's very black and white. Uh, and then what else? Oh, the light is from Amazon as well. It's a crazy one. It literally changes the setting every time it's on. But yeah, it's got four different light modes for every um, one that's on. But I found it really hard to find a nice bathroom light. And it's quite a small room. Didn't want anything hanged down. And we haven't moved anything really plumbing-wise or anything because Jack did it all himself. Um, and I found this one on Amazon. I just thought it was really nice, really simple. Plain black, um, just nice, simple light. Um, so yeah, this is the bathroom. All done. Hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you want to see any more home content and what you think of our new bathroom. And I will see you next time. Bye.